On a beautiful calm spring day out on Kauai Island, we really struggled to get bites. Forsyth managed a kawai, but even a nice fresh kawai fillet didn't bring them in. So we relocated in the baby staby to a ledge that had produced for us a couple of weeks earlier. Brenton donned the mighty yellow pants of fish catching, and suddenly our luck turned and the bites were on. Oh. Just a little bite, hardly touched that, not even enough to pull any line out. Um, I put it in gear and I reckon that's probably a couple of kilos of snapper out there. Oh mate, that's a nice fish. And there he is. And that's a very nice, oh, it's probably, I'd say it's probably three. I'll just try and get hold of him, put him under my wing. Oh, well done mate. And there you go, that's a lovely, lovely kind of winter spring fish. He's hardly bit at all, not even enough. To, not even enough to engage the clicker on the gear that, on the reel that was in free spool. Very nice. Well, that's, that's very pleasing. We've well worked, done. We've worked quite hard today to get anything. We have. And now the fish are on the bite. Nothing wrong with him though. Right, back to my reels. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> <laughs> Mate, I'm right pleased with that. It's not a huge Ooh. fish. And that really, you know, if you're not watching your rods, that's the kind of fish you'd never get. Yeah, thanks for that, reminding me while I'm filming. <laughs> I mean, you yeah. can see he's, he's a lovely conditioned fish. He's really fat, nice and red from sitting here and all the weed and stuff. Woohoo! <laughs> Very pleased, mate. It's been a hard day's fishing. I bloody enjoyed that. Let's go catch some more. We've got some um, pilly burly going over there. We've got some salmon burly down here. And we've got the pallets going on over here. We've got some burly going on. And I've just seen. We've got burly. Burly, 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 burly. <laughs> and I've just seen three snappers swimming around down here in the kelp, you know. Not big snapper, but enough for a feed, big enough, legal. And we're going to see if we can sight fish to some snapper. Right. Might get a kawai, I might just look like a dick. We'll soon find out. <laughs> now bear with me, because I've only cast an overhead reel about six times in my life. So here we go. So, a lot of people find learning to cast with an overhead quite hard. Brenton, very annoyingly, has picked my spare SL30 up uh, about an hour ago and has had no bird's nests and caught a fish in probably the first 60 seconds of using it. So, I like it! So he's quite impressed, so it's going to be more tackle you need to buy, mate. And just this kawai surfacing, just, just by Brendan's rod tip actually. We can see the little kawai swirling around on the surface out here in front of us all the time. Are you into a, um, you got a bite straight away? Nudges that could be the kawai. We'll just give it a wee tickle back. Just see Brenton just taking a little bit of the slack out of the line just so he can stay in touch with the bait. And there's something having a go at Brenton's bait. Is he going to put it into the camera? Oh, have you dropped it, mate? Got it! Oh, Red mate. Curve hook and I struck it a bit hard. We'll right, just, take we'll two. Let that go. <laughs> Our baits are just getting absolutely hammered now. The fish came on the bite about an hour ago um, and they've just stayed on the bite, but unfortunately, that's not really what we want. Uh, right species, it's just kind of the, the size wasn't quite there. Yeah, send it back to get bigger. Yeah, that's right, back to Tangaroa. It's not really much bigger than my bait, frankly. How did you get a whole pilly in two eight bar rows in there, mate? Look at him. See you, bud. <laughs> Class! Brendan's just seen a snapper right right here. The water's really, really clear where we are. He's probably only four or five metres out in front of us. So yeah, while it's really exciting being able to see a fish and actually p put a bait to it, it's also a lot more frustrating when you can see it and you can't hook it. <laughs> it's more frustrating when it reefs you down again. Oh mate, have you, is he sna have you snagged? No, oh. took it, he's got all the bait that time. So what's, what's, what's your little pet snapper done? Just to talk, talk us through. <laughs> we fed it again. Oh, it's getting mate. bigger. Yeah, Every well, if you bite. keep doing that, mate, it'll be three or four kilos by the time you get them. Right, we'll have another go. It's not, it's not very attractive, though. I mean, I can understand why they're not that excited about <laughs> it. Let's just see. So, how was that, how's that cast? That half, you know, half a pilly head? Oh, really bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a polarised filter on the end of this camera and there's a very good reason why as a fisherman you should wear polarised glasses because when you put your polarised glasses on 
look, the whole ocean just opens up to you right down there. So you can see a lot further into it, which means that you can see any fish that are swimming in your in your bait trail and your burley trail. So as you can see, pull right on, pull right off. Yeah, got it. Four sides on like Donkey Kong. Feels like a pretty good bit of fish, mate. Slightly better fish, mate. Well, he's. Uh, he's in the weeds actually, he might not be a better fish, it might just be because he had about 14 kilos of kelp on him, unfortunately. Let's see, where is it? Oh no, I see colour. see a little bit of colour. I see some colour. It wasn't much of a fish, he was just buried in the weeds to start with. Yeah. Hard it. But we've had this fish going the whole time now. We've probably, I don't know, we've gone through a couple of kilos of pillies almost. Just snapper everywhere. We've got dolphins out here, working out here. We've just had, but they've gone now. We've had a whole load of birds working just behind where the baby stave is parked. School's a car wire in here. Just unbelievable evening out here. Just perfect. You know, these are nice eating size snap. Nothing, nothing wrong with nothing that. Nothing wrong with that. And in good condition, you know. Like the others, really fat. And he has absolutely monstered that. He's got two eight bar o gammies all right in there. In fact, we've got him on the keeper hook. Just having that running hook. The amount of fish that Brendan and I get that are on the keeper hook, you know. At, at least half of them. So yeah, some nice, there's some nice fish out here and it's an amazing evening. Just one of those beautiful nights to be out here in the Haraki Gulf. See how those bites coming along? Uh, good, he's, he's still having a go, he just won't make his mind up really. They're, they're not big fish, 30 to 35 centimetres. We've got one significantly better one. But you know, there's, there's a nice fish for a feed, we won't keep a whole load of them, most of them are going back in. Um, but they're just biting, picking it up, putting the bait down. And we're just trying to get this one to just have a bit of a better go at it. So we've just got the reel and free spool, just, just my thumb on it, so if he pulls it a little bit, I can give him some bit just like that. Just have it in free spool. So as he bites, he, we can just let him take a little bit of line if he needs to. And if I want to just take up the slack, I'll just wind a little bit of it back in. Uh, yeah. Been going through plenty of bait, we just haven't been hooking a whole load of them. You know, it's not a competition to keep everything you possibly can. We've got we've got plenty for a feed now. And just have, having a wee little bit of fun. You see, just another nice, just a little bit of a smaller one. This one. Yep. Another lovely looking little fish. Beautiful condition, this fish. Eh? The moment. He's just a wee little baby. We'll put him back. Send him back to get bigger. We will send him back to be bigger. And the amount of pillies he's, he's eaten you know, in the last half an hour, mate, he's probably quite a lot heavier than he was when we arrived here. <laughs> like just great, great condition little fish, really healthy. And we'll send him back. See you, bud. Right, so Brenton's got his bait back in place. I can see my bait and I can yep. see it attacking it. We can see his bait, he can see the snapper biting at it. We just. It. We, ju we just won't be able to quite get it. I don't think the lens is polarised quite enough, I'm sorry. But I, I mean, we can clearly see his bait down here. And just out there, there, and there's the snapper biting at it now. It's not a... It's not a huge fish, but it's an awful lot of fun watching snapper eating pillies just down at your feet in, in beautiful clear water. <gasps> sorry mate, without making excuses for your gear, are you going to get us the snapper or what? I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> <laughs> Confidence you've is seen, part is part of is part of the fisherman's arsenal. Okay, here we go. There he goes. <laughs> you can see Brenton's line going. Come on. Come on. Come on, <laughs> we can see him having to guard it. Take it. You can see him take putting the tension in the line. Brenton just wants to let him have it a little bit. And he's gonna set the hook. It's really tentative, he's just just nibbling at it and nibbling at it. So here's, so here's Brenton. He's seen that snapper. He's been trying to catch him for a wee little while. It's just a little panny, but you know, heap of fun. He's just sitting out here in front of him, just in, just in a gut, just off the burly bag. Oh, yeah, he's a and healthy little snapper. There you go. Yeah. It's a wee little panny. But nice. really, really nice just to see them swimming around at your feet and throw a little bait at him. It is. Mate. Nice it was, work. It was actually the, I mean, you know, he's not my biggest snapper, but it was <laughs> fun. actually seeing him down there and then being able to target him effectively. Yeah, mate, it's great. It's been, been, been a lovely day out here today. And that was, and we'd called that for last baits as well. I think that well. was last baits, so I'm quite happy. Great. Nice job, bro.